So, hopefully the digger's fixed. Oh, look, everybody's following me. Oh. Yes, a little bit, I know. You want your back scratched. Everybody's following me. Ooh, she's gonna tip me over. <laughs> Anyway, the digger I think is repaired and he's going to come today and we're going to clear this area up and hopefully have it ready to plant trees because it's a Saturday. I doubt we'll be planting the trees, just getting everything ready. So, oh, they all think they're going through the little gate. <laughs> Look at that. All ready to go through the little gate. I'll be moving them up to the orchard, which is the opposite direction. So, look at that. <laughs> hey girls, this way. Come on. I'm not gonna move them up to the orchard right now. Problem with sheep is they find your neatly wound wire or electric fence and pull it asunder. Come on girls. Come on, girls! Come on! I'm gonna let you guys into here. Whoops! Jeez, don't trip me up. They think we're there going to the orchard. Not yet, just into this area. And more coming down from the field above. Inca, Inca, leave it. Inca, Inca, come here. So, they're all out of here now, so I'll close this gate. So the digger man is safe to come without uh, sheep. There, up, oh, joining up the flock. Hey, hey, you two, no, Java, no. I still haven't been able to pick up my fleeces because they've all been too wet. They're soaking wet. It has not been a good year, the last two years, for fleeces. There's a lamb in here screaming. Is it stuck somewhere? Oh no, you're just being a daft tart. Yeah, or a daft boy. Look, if you go out. And, hey, Java! There. Everybody else is out. There we go. They're all having a lovely extra grazing now. I'll just leave them there until the tour comes and then they'll go up to the orchard. So I wanna move the last of the flock that's up here down into the paddock. Hey ladies, time to get up, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on ladies, come on. See, most of the flock is down here. 
stragglers are up here. You clever girl. Java! No! You're bold! Come on, girls! Yeah, and one yo who escaped the shearing. I've got a shearer, but I haven't been well enough to uh, shear her. Um, strong enough or well enough. So luckily we've had really cold weather, so she's fine. But she shall be shorn soon. I am recovering, I'm still not well. It's been a bit crazy. But she was hidden from the flock <clears throat> when I brought the flock in and then the shearer turned up and I was like, ah, sure, they're all here. But no, there was one yo that escaped the shearing. Hey girls. You enjoying the shelter out of the rain? Look at them all. Yeah. Hey guys. <laughs> Pathetic cry. <clears throat> you coming, guys? <laughs> Look at all this food in here. Alpaca, you're not allowed in. No, 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 no. Go on. 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 There we go. Nope. You guys have to stay here. Because they would browse the apple trees. Sorry, ladies. You're gonna go into another field. There's so much food for them. Look at all the docks. They'll eat all these. The scrub plums are all full. The hawthorns, the hazel. They're eating scrub plums and dock. That's what that lamb's eating. That's scrub plums. She's eating plantain leaves. Over here they're eating grasses, 
scrub plum. Ivy. Uh, uh, You're gonna let me in. Come on, ladies. You gotta let me in. Come on, ladies. Look at that. They're all going to disappear now into the trees. Look at how tall the grass is. It's wet, wet, wet. So the sheep that want to will go in under the shelter there. Look at the hazels in full leaf. Okay. I'm going to leave them be. It's wet, wet, wet. Look at that. Poppies growing in the garden wall. Or the laneway wall. And that's a bat house in there. And look at all the toad flax. Or, no, this isn't toad flax. This is toad... Ah, I forgot what it's called, but it's so beautiful. Look at that. Such a beautiful plant. And you can see it's all over the wall here. But what I found really amusing... Let me draw this back so you can see where we are. We're on the laneway to the orchard. Is, look, a modern crop sewed itself in the wall and grew. So either a field mouse or a bird was nesting in there or a bat or something. Couldn't be a bat, bat don't eat them, but somebody shat a seed there. Maybe they were up on the wall, up on the garden wall with all the ferns. But you can see there's another bat hole there right there so but that I find very amusing modern agricultural crop growing out of the wall what a day miserable wet wet drippy manky day but the sheep are gonna love being in the orchard they were eating the dock when they were going up the scrub plum, the blackberries, the plantain, clovers. There's some of the scrub plum. They weren't eating the nettles. The nettles, they were not eating. it was repaired see there was some lads who were messaging me and saying ah sure it's really easy to put this tube back on but no what happened was that attachment in there that this screws up on was decapitated so that was severed off so this whole unit that's a new weld new unit with a new nipple coming out that that screws up on so that's why it was a bigger job than just replacing the tube and that. Anyway, 
enough of mechanics lessons and look at the clearing that's been done. Yay! This is so fantastic, I can't tell you. So all those piles of garden weedings and bits of leftover straw and what have you are now piled along there. And there's several trunks, um, root masses that are gonna go in there. They're in this pile here. So look at that pile there. So those are firewood, but you can see this trunk, this trunk, and this trunk. Those are three trees that blew over or died at different times. And those are going to, I'm gonna have him tomorrow with the grab, put them in here, one, two, three. And then we can pile some of that on top of them so they can rot down. And then the rest of this space, I will be planting my apple trees in that I've been growing. And we've had the um, pipes, pipes, ah, I don't know what I'm talking about. The fence posts have been sorted. These are the fence posts that potentially we could use for things like trees or they're really good fence posts for fencing. They are, a lot of them are semi-rotten, so they'd be good for trees and stuff. And then these are the stones that are moved, moved over here against this wall. I'm gonna get him to tip these off so we don't get a sheep that goes ba-doing, 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 and ba-doing out over the wall. And, oh, oh, oh. This is an old ink pot. It's a modern old ink pot. It's got a screw. That makes it more modern having that screw. I wonder if there's any label on it. No label. Hmm. And nothing underneath. Or nothing that I can see underneath. I might have to give that a rinse and see what it is. Anyway. In this back here, um, we found ink pots that would have been my great grandfather's. And uh, I'll show those to you. I'm gonna rinse this and see what happens. Here's my uh, water tanks. Okay, let's see. There's no labels. This would be the turn of the last century. Excuse me. <coughs> I still have my cough. <coughs> this is this is an early version of a screw top. And let's see, is there any Hey kitty, where are you? No, there's no labels or anything. Hey kitty. Anyway, that is cool. I'm really happy about that. Excellent. I love walking past this. It's so lovely. Look at that sage, purple sage. Anyway, this room I have to do a bit of a clean up. But this, here you can see, this is an ink bottle. And this is an ink bottle. So, first, ink would arrive here with a cork. Then it would be decanted into this one because it's got a lip. This would be brought in and poured into the ink well. So this must be the next generation because it has a screw top. This would have had a cork. This would have had a cork. So this is probably the next generation of ink pot. Yes. Are you going to come up and look at the ink pots? Yes. Yes, kitty. You can tip my ink pots over. Please don't. Yes, kitty. My beautiful kitty. Okay. I've got to get this room up and running properly. I've started. Oh, hello. Yep. I'm landed on by a cat. 
Anyway, I've got to put the paintings on the wall and get things out. All my wool paraphernalia out to decorate the room. So, oof. There we go. Yes. Anyway, I'll do that tomorrow and Monday. Oh, he's coming back for a few hours tomorrow to finish up a few more jobs to do with the digger. Yay! Oh, footy tat. <laughs> anyway, these are the ink pots. One, two, three. And I'd say that's, this is the most modern one because of the screw top. Really, kitty? Slicing my neck with his tail. Mm. Anyway, I love that we found this today, or I found this just now. That's fantastic. <laughs>